Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you guys, uh, if you're interested, a short little video on how I made this wishing well. She actually made it for my mother-in-law. She wanted a wishing well, so just throwing together a little video. If you want to see it, you know, go ahead and watch the rest. But I think it looks pretty good for my first uh, wishing well I've ever made. All right, so I'm going to start all my cuts for the wishing well. So I already pre-measured everything out and got my marks on a scrap piece of wood just to make things easier. So I'm going to be cutting all of my marks at a 22 and a half degree angle. I've already predetermined the radius of how long the board I'll need. So now it's just down to cut all of the boards. So I can watch it. I got all the pieces cut for the wishing well. So I placed them um, here. This is what it'll, the bottom of the well will start to look like. So as of right now, I just placed them just to get an idea. And I placed them over top of my, I don't know if you can see it, but I kind of drew my markings on the ground for the two foot radius. And that's how I got my measurements for the nine and the quarter edge to edge and then of course using the uh, 22 and a half degree angle which gives you 360 degrees total with the 16 cuts so the plan I got these two inch wood screws and the plan is, so I don't have to drill really long screws all the way through, I'm going to drill about an inch and a quarter down, straight through, so that then I can take the screw and go straight through into the other boards. So it'll just be screwed down, stacked on top of each other. So I'll be using my drill press here. I'm going to drill down, got a lot of holes to drill here, and then I'll just start screwing them all together. So that'll be in the next video here, just showing you how I do it. All right. Hey guys, so I got, uh, I got all the boards ready to start drilling all the holes. I've already pre-marked everything, so you don't have to watch me do that. So. I'm going to speed up the camera so you don't have to watch me drill 64 holes. So, this will be the next process of uh, screwing it all together. So, now you get to watch me. my router using it using the 5 8 5 8 round over I'm going to go ahead and round the edges to give it a nice clean rounded feel on the sill so go ahead and take care of that Now that I got 
got them nice round over. So this will be for the sill. I'm out of space. And each one of them you know, connect together, wrapping around. Are you making me well. too? No. Oh. Well, kind of, yeah. Oh. So okay. now that I got them all nice and cleaned up using the router, now I'm going to go ahead and sand them all down. Get them nice and smooth. Get the, uh, get the markings off. So, see you on the next step. Woohoo! Hey guys, so I finally got all the blocks sanded. I wanted to show you how I'm going to start the base. So the base of the block, I pre-drilled the holes at an angle. Let's see that. So I'm going to show you how to start the base. I'm going to take the camera out of here. Uh -huh. So what I'm doing... So I'm going to go ahead and I pre-drilled all the holes in the screws and just start screwing the base together. And then the rest of the blocks will just start to stack on top of it and screw down to the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and start this process. I'll show you guys some of it and then I'll speed up. center of every board. So center, bottom layer, center, center, center. So, hey, watch I'm out. Sorry. So what you want to do is your center marks should all line up with the bottom layer of your angle. And then here you got so center, center, center. center. It all pretty much lines up. So once you feel comfortable with the angles Hello. you got, what's up, bud? You can go ahead and start screwing down the first board. So I'll go ahead and show you that one. Let's put it back in. There. Okay. So I'm pretty much comfortable with my angle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw down the first board. So now once you get the board screwed down, you can just go ahead and follow with the rest and just screw it around. This side. I'm still going to use the glue on the corners just to give it a stronger hold. So for the wow. rest of this, we'll go ahead and we'll speed up the video so you don't sit here and watch me screw down 64, 64 boards. Bye. Bye.
got the base of the well. Everything's screwed together. I'm going to be starting on the silhouette. I'm going to do the pieces. Oh. So, here's the sill. So eventually I'll go ahead and screw the sill on, but I'm going to go ahead and stop for today. Got other things I need to get done, so next portion we'll get the sill on and then eventually we'll start the roof. Oh, it's starting to come together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and screw the sill on the bottom of the well here. Same thing as the other layers, and we'll just piece it together and screw it on. I already pre-drilled. All the holes here, I just screw it on flat. Um, you definitely want to try to pre-drill all your holes. If you don't, you well crack the wood, just screwing the screw through it. So, from experience, really want to get it. So I'll go ahead and screw on the first two, and then I'll speed the camera up. screw every single one of them down. Alright, so here's the the well. I'm gonna take it out of here, give you guys a closer look. So now that we got the base, our next step is to start on the roof and the bucket. So we're getting there. Not bad. Now of course, I could have screwed all the angles together like I did on the bottom one, but I was just trying to save time and just screw from the top. But not too bad. I mean, I'll give it a final sand down with some 220 grit, make it nice and smooth, and then we'll stain it with some, uh, some. All right, so I'm going to start on the roof today. I'm going to go ahead and pre-cut all the boards. I'll speed the camera up for that, and then after I'm done, we'll go ahead and pre-assemble. And I'll show you how that's done in the next video. So, here we go.
didn't want to because the prices are so high, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I've gotten complete. So I went ahead and put on the side paneling. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I left the other side off so I could show you. But here's the OSB board. So I found two quarter size boards, $15 a piece, still cheaper than buying a whole board. So I already pre-cut, drilled. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pan side panel on. I'll show you how I did that one. So let me go ahead and show you the roads. Jigsaw instead of the scroll saw. A little bit quicker. Let me uh take over here. So as you can see, I just screwed it right to the face of the uh the framing. These are the boards. Already pre-drilled all the holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw on the rest and I'll show you how I do that. I went ahead and added these uh, little boards here just to give it something to screw to or else I'd be trying to screw into uh, just the plywood here. If I had some thicker plywood it would work just fine but I tried to go cheap. So just gave it a little more, a little more meat to screw into. Added three of them. Same thing with this side. So I'll go ahead and screw it in.
pretty simple. I'm just going to glue it in. I'm not going to screw it. You know, just for decoration, it's not. It's not supposed to actually operate. So that's pretty much it. And then we'll just glue it down. For those of you who don't know what a faucer bit is, I'll go ahead and show you. So here's the whole setup here. Not too bad. Alright, so just use my drill press and a fastener bit. So there you go. That way you don't drill all the way through. So the next part, we'll just go ahead and glue it down, wrap some uh, rope around it, the bucket, and stain it all, and that's pretty much it. It's done. Alright guys, as you see, it is done. Got the stain on, we're going to put the bucket in the rope. Probably going to put on a second coat later on. I just went ahead and, you know, some regular Thompson water seal. Got the cedar. Not too shabby. Actually, this is the uh, first well I've ever built. Not, not too bad. I'm going to give you guys a close up look. Almost like I knew what I was doing. So if you guys, if you guys like this video, you know, check, check out some of my treehouse videos. If you're interested in building a treehouse.